Well, hello everybody, Queen Bee here. Welcome to the channel and to more Nightingale. Uh, it's been a few changes since you last saw this series, guys. What we did is we started another forest abeyance realm. Um, I blasted through the tutorial already and I've kind of got myself to the point of um, where, where we left off in the last series. So I've done the antiquarium um the antiquarium and got the antiquarium card and um i've i've made myself a nice big base by the water which is what where i wanted to build last time um last time what i did was i literally just set my spawn point in uh i set my base up where i spawned in um i would say the following. We've got the Realmic Transmuter over here. A lot of people would say set it up over by that. I don't feel that's necessary because we can build our own Realmic Transmuter. Same with the Portal and the Trader. I've already cleared the Trader out of everything that they've got that's useful. So um, we've just set up where we want to, where it's really nice and pretty. And these are my portals. Now, um, let me come in to build. What we've got here is we've got a crude portal, a crude Rolmic transmuter and a fairy ring. Not tried fairy rings out yet. But what I did in my uh, old playthrough that you haven't seen is I put down a load of portals. But I kept getting confused with what was where, um, what, what, what led me to what realm. Um, so I found out you can actually name these. You see, this one is the Desert Antiquarium. This one is the Forest Antiquarium. And this is the Swamp. Now, I've basically gone uh, alphabetically D, F, S. Um, and I've named them. So these are going to be my Antiquarian. These are going to be my Astrolobe. And I'm going to keep them in sets of threes. Um, just so it makes it easier. Now, some of these um, portals I'm not going to want to close um, in time because they'll be linked to tasks and tasks that I will be given, collecting tasks and so on. Um, and I'm going to want to get that storyline done. So I can also name them, say, you know, don't close and so on. So this is my base. It's got a door front and back. Let's uh, just come over here. So I've got a few rocks up on the roof, which is uh, just because I, I did some changes to building. I've put stairs all the way up here so that Marion, my recruit, can... Uh, there we go, I've got those rocks. Marion can get in easily. A little fishing porch out here um, that's uh, I do like my fishing and it means I can just stand here and chill um, and lots of storage this needs work uh, I can't get baskets on there I have done before um, but we're going to be lining up all of our storage here have unlocked um, weathered storage as well or is it a weathered trunk I think it is. Um, let's have a look here. Do, 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 storage. Weathered trunk. And I've started upgrading my tools. So I've got 215 essence. I've got an upgraded axe, mining pick, and hunting knife. I'm thinking I'm going to upgrade a little bit of my gear maybe. Uh, but I want to unlock the Astrolobe card. This is where, this is a simple upgrade bench. Uh, and this is where we upgrade all the various things. Let me show you, actually. Let's come into here, tier one, add 40, craft. Let's do the same with the backpack. Get a better backpack. We're going to do our climbing picks as well. Uh, for now, I think that's kind of a um, couple of, yeah. Yeah, that's all we can do now. Uh, but 
what we're going to do is get the Astrolabe Major card. We're going to do some venturing. And let's have a look at our clothes. So clothes, much better. We're now up to level 36, which is amazing. I've got some food on me. I've got some heels on me. I think I'm going to make a few more. Um, where are they? Uh, bones and fibre. So let's get some crude plant fibre. And let's get some bones. Make some healing salves. Autofill. Make ten of those. The further you go on in this game, the more important it's going to be to uh, to organise your inventory. I'm not sure you can't label your inventory yet, which is a bit of a pain. But where am I going to put my sticks? Uh, in here, there we go, and the stone. I've got a little place over here, and this is accessible to my survivor. My survivor is Marion. Now, Marion was recruited um, in the antiquarian realm. I sacked off my original survivor, who was level 6 equipment, and you can see these are all level 16, uh, level 31 druidic breaches. Um, and uh, makeshift mining pit. So, much better level without me having to upgrade the recruit. Now, I didn't put that in my recruit tutorial. I never realized. But, um, if you are struggling with recruits, do go and check out that tutorial. Let's have a rest. And let's consume some food. Let's grab that that down there. Scrub my heels, turn the campfire off. Okay, so it is hailing. But I want to we're gonna open this, reopen the portal. I'm gonna run over here just let it open up. It takes a little bit of time. I got really confused. I was unaware that it took so long. So I kept thinking that mine were broken. <laughs> and then it takes a while to go dormant. You can see this one here. Um, we went to the, or I went to the forest. Um, so that is taking a while to go dormant. But I just want to go through here. I just want to make sure that I haven't overlooked anything. I haven't completed all of the sites yet, although on each of these realms I have done the, um, is it the fairy fortress or, or, or temple or whatever it's called. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, what's this, what's this building called? Um, here we go. The Fey Tower. I've completed that, which has given me um, a synth Lotus, I think it's called. Um, that's occupied, that's occupied. I'm just seeing if there's any NPCs on this map. What's that? Bastille of Insight. No. But basically, you see these defense tasks, and uh, where's the building ones? That's my trader. I've been to that one and cleared it out. Uh, defense task there, building task here, so aid and defense. That's where if you complete the task, so you speak to the NPC, then you build for them, um, or this one, you speak to the NPC and then you help defend. Um, once you've completed that task, you can recruit the NPCs, and so that's what I did. I sacked off uh, William who was my new recruit from the beginning, and then I, I hired Marion. Um, but let's go back. Let's go travel to Raspite, where it's probably still hailing. Oh, it feels like it's just raining. And we're gonna have a look for the Astrolobe site. So that's over there. We're gonna want to just come over this way, Marion. 
yeah, we're going to do the astrolabe site of power. We are going to get the astrolabe card and then we're going to do some exploring into the astrolabe realms and we'll have a look at what the traders got. We'll um, complete the fate hour. We'll complete a few like tasks and maybe sack Marion off and, um, and get ourselves a new recruit. Oh, sack. I hear the blue dude. Where is he? There he is. Look at him. It's amazing that we can hear him from so far away. Knocking down trees. So, here we are. Astrolobe, sight of power. Oh, we should be able to get in here now. Yep. Right, let's get our picket pickets ready. There we go. If you want to read that, you can. Ah, here they come. Go that one off. Right, where are you? Ow. Get it. There we go. Well done, Marion. Do we want to go up or do we want to go down? Let's go up here. Oh, it's you, is it? Kill that dude. Ow! There we go. Right. Um. Ow! Ooh. Bash him! Stick him with the pointy end. There goes Marion's down. Okay. I think we've got everything. You scratch my back. We've revived him. Let's not press Q. I want to keep some of those. Um, we're going to press 7 and F. And then I'm going to just have a quick run around here, see if there's anything here. No. Need a bit more. Okay. What are we doing on food? Um, I'm just going to eat it from in my inventory. Let's get everything repaired. And down we go. Down, 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 down. One down. Ow. Let's get you. Kill her. Kill her. Ooh. Right. So I'm seeing some goodies here. So let's take our time. Get the goodies. Pick up our old friend. There we go. Bash on the chest. I 
So we saw some more stuff up here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I hate that sound. Okay, let's go. Well, they can't come down. Oh, they can. Okay, let's press F. Uh, let's press Q. He's down. Oh, Jesus, poor Marion. Oh, thank God. Oh. So what seven heals is. Let's release the hope echo. And let's pick up all the goodies. Oh, wow. Ten lacunas ingots. That is going to come in handy. We've got the brass. Decent. Ready, Marion? Yeah, this is, uh, this is where we need to go. Oh, let's, let's release this hope echo. Oh, I didn't want to speak to you. There we go. Let's just have a look around here, see if there's any heals or anything. Hmm. Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. Let's get ready to bash on this dude. I hate this dude. He's, uh, it's really hard to get behind him. Fucking leave me alone! This one. All right, let's uh, just run around here quickly. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Marion's got it. Get it, Marion. Ah! 
Ow. It's small. Four. Ow, five. Where's it gone? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, run, 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 run. There we go. Be patient. Be patient, young Marion. Yeah. Okay. Release Hope Echo. Get the Astrolabe card. Now, I just want to go up one level. I just want to make sure I didn't leave anything behind in that. We get up here. Just want to check this room because the other one had a nice tasty amount of chests. It didn't look like I'd lost anything or left anything behind, but no. Nope, nope. Okay. Excellent. So we have a gear score of 37 out of 40. Let's just repair. Let's see if Marion's picked up any delights. Marion? Uh, nope, it's all on me. Marvellous. I'll just throw things away here. Uh, oh, there was a gem there. Some wood. Half wood. Some ingots. And let's get some fibre. Uh, that's bound bristle. Some food plant fibre. I need to collect some more fi uh, fibre, I think. But let's go. Storage. Basic. Place. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put all our green ones in here. All our blue ones in here. Let's put that in there. Oceans. Paper. Wicks. Boundicker. That'll do. That'll do nicely, pig. And some leather in there. Reinforced leather. Marvellous. Right, before we do anything else, let's get that fibre. Jesus Christ, Marion, you scared me. Blue dude hasn't come over here for a while. So uh, we're still waiting on these trees to be regenerated, unfortunately, but my build is more stone heavy than, than wood, so let's see in gamma. Somebody was saying it can come across a little bit dark. What I'll try and do is lighten it in editing for you. There we go. Let's come. And uh, I'm just going inside our little home and put this fibre away. Oh, it's nicely lit in here, though. This is very ambient. Um, let's pop that there. I don't feel like my wood should be next to my fibre. Let's have a long rest. Right, so seeds. I've got some k palo, some wheat. Sunflower, Saskatoon berries, marigolds. I want to do some wheat, I think. So, buildy buildy. Oh, 
don't think it's that. I think it's survival somehow. Let's have a look. Yeah, plant boxes. Now, where do I want to put my plant boxes? Like that. And then we'll go lumber, lumber, lumber. So it's 4, 12, 16 lumber. Inky pokes. Also going to need a watering can. So what's my watering can going to take to craft? Okay, we can do that. I use all my most basic resources um, when I'm crafting at home. Um, so like basic wood for building and, and so on. Not that we have a lot of basic wood, but I've been trying, you can see in here, I've got a load of tier one desert wood, uh, tier one forest wood, swamp wood. Um, and that's got better, that should have better stats than, yeah. So range damage, strength, critical damage. Let's grab some spray and we'll make some straps in here. There's some basic ones. Let's just check how much do we have lumber? We've got 12. So let's just make Ah, let's turn all of that into lumber. Why not? Why not? I'll tell you why not, because I need some of it. I need some of it, don't I? <laughs> to make my watering can. Yep. Damn it. Have I got any more in here? Softwood, tier two forest wood. Let's chop a tree. Of course, we're going to need more for these. So let's actually, I'm going to need 10 lumber for that. Let's come and chop a few trees. Gathering in this game, like, is very, very satisfying. I find it really satisfying. Oh no, it fell through the floor. That sucks. Here he comes. He's going to do his thing. I hope he is. Rejuvenate everything. So he does this weird braying thing. Um, and his magic um, basically grows everything that I've chopped down, which is great. Now, I mean, don't get in the way. So what's that, 22? Okay, so he's over there right now. In fact, what we could do is we could get him to do some of our work for us. Let's just follow him. Look at those trees getting knocked down. We're going to have to get Marion to, <laughs> to carry some of this wood back to base somewhat. Here he goes. Is he going to do it? Marion, come here. There we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Marion, Marion, come here. I've got a lot of wood on me here, Marion. Come on. 
There we go. Look at that. He's put everything back to right. Uh, but we're not back to right. We are broken. Let me uh, just fix my broken leg. So yeah, these um, little healing salves, they will fix broken legs, sprained ankles, whatever you want. They will fix it. Let's just put that in there quickly. Marion! Oh, there you are. Let's take the wood off you before you do something stupid. They'll put it straight in your campfire, if they can. So uh, do, do be aware of that, guys. I'm just going to crawl. I'll see you in a minute. Where are we making this watering can? There we go. Workbench. Watering can. Perfect. It's got a bit more wood. And do some more lumber. Right there. And where's my watering can? There. Pokey pokes, let's fill the watering can up. And grab the lumber that we put in here. We don't need the stones. Let's just put the straps in there for now. Oh, let's get our seeds. This well I'll get four. We are building four things. So wheat, Saskatoon berries, and one, two, three, four, and seed. There we go. And then we need to water. There we go. All done. So to do that, you're just going to left click. Um, I may as well just fill that up. I don't know how much it carries. So let's just put this by the door. I'm going to have to take it out of my hot bar, put it in there, sticks in there as well. There we go. Right, next thing, next thing, next thing. Want a lotus. If I've got one, I might not have one. I thought I did. I thought I had one spare. About here, yes, there we go. Oh, and we need wire. We're going to need three wire. So let's go with some tin. I just want to check how many essence. We've only got 40 essence. We're going to start with the forest. We need uh, some more ingots. So yeah, we're going to start with the forest astrolabe. I think that's going to be the easiest. So we want to get a nice amount of tear uh, tier 1 essence so that we can get to the trader and really uh, really profiteer like completely clear everything out oh shit what you doing there completely pushed me out of my own home 
Oh, fucking hell. That's weird. Let's have a little sleep. And let's get... That's my seeds. Let's make some... Water spinach. Some mixed plants. Water spinach. That'll do. That's good. And maybe do a spot of fishing. Dragonflies are so cool. Right, the trick here is to keep the tension at the middle, the middle bar. Um, tension too high and you're going to lose the fish, tension too low and you're going to lose the fish. You're probably going to lose the rainbow trout anyway until you've upgraded um, to an uncommon fishing rod. I've caught a few of them but it's been real close. But yeah, you literally left click to cast and you have to hold it down for a little while. Um, and then you just keep holding left to reel in and keep the tension as close to the middle as you can. And you've got a second, like after they take the bait, you've got a little bit of time before you need to start reeling. So if you need to get your stamina back, do that. That actually sounds like my ingots are done. So let's pop my fish in here. Let's put that in there. These are done, my mixed plants. Where am I putting my cooked stuff? Hmm. Probably pop it in here. Take like 12 of them. Oh, hang on. And there we go. And so that I just also want to just swap where my umbrella is. I'll put it in my number six slot. Tin ingots should do. I think it takes seven and we already put one in. Okay, rename. Forest. Forest. true. I can't type for shit. There we go. Apply. Now we need to craft some Astrolabe cards. So I'm going to pre-craft three cards. And then I'm going to do a forest, a swamp and a desert. We'll see if we can get some more lotus. Um, Synchronous Lotus so that we can craft up our other two portals. I really like this, uh, this whole realm thing. The way that you can switch it all up. Also want to get myself, um, God, what is it? Not the portal. The Realmic Transmuter. Um, and play the Thin Veil card in uh, my realm, so... Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. Build. What's that going to take? Ingots, wire, lumber. We could actually do that later. And let me just have a look at the round cards that I've got. Amphibious. Swimming speed, resistance. Dragon's Horde. 
Borrow the content of chests and grant a chance to find rare gems. Lowering your damage. Uh, settler. Increase resources. Yield of crops. Maleficent. Increase the chance of finding essence. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Okay, let's go. Alright guys, this is where we're going to call this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm loving my new build. Uh, I've got plans. Lots of plans. But uh, yeah, I just I wanted to kind of bring myself to a point um, in the game where, where we left off. I've learned so much and I'm excited to share that with you. If you've enjoyed this, give it a like, comment and sub for the good old YouTube algorithm. Until next time, stay safe and take care.